If you're like me and want to put your handicap in free fall, but you have limited time to practice each week, this video is for you. I had a chance to talk to one of the world's top, top golf coaches who's teaching some huge name players. And he basically told me that the majority of us don't know how to practice and we're all but wasting our time. So trying to think what would be the most helpful advice he could offer people like you and me, normal golfers, who can't practice eight hours a day every day. I asked him specifically, what would he do if he could only practice for two hours each week? The plan he gave me, well, it wasn't really what I was expecting. Nothing about pounding golf balls on the driving range or making putt after putt on the practice green. He said if he only had two hours a week to practice, he'd get straight out here onto the golf course. But that's just the start, and I'm betting this plan could be game-changing for some of you. His advice might really alter the way that you practice, so make sure you listen closely right the way till the end. Ideally, get out for nine holes by yourself when it's quiet, or with someone else doing the same type of session. But then what? Well, unless you're working on something very specific, just play it like normal from the tee and the fairway, like you would in a competition. Play it as it lies and don't hit multiple shots. Focus on your short game, but possibly not how you might think. You're not out here scoring, so have a couple of balls with you. Put them down and work on your pace, mostly around 30, 40 and 50 foot. Trying to get them within a four foot circle of the hole, that's going to help your scoring. Then spend some time on your chipping, but not so much the showstoppers, the difficult ones. Spend more on the easy shots that you think you should get up and down every time, because these are the ones that are going to make and break you round if you get them wrong. From there, you might hit a few more of the medium difficulty ones, but really don't worry about the complex ones. The difficult ones, you really just want to hit the green and think about two putting from there. Course management, and this goes for competitions as well. Only hit the shot you know you can play, not the shot you'd like to play. It can be really tempting to go for the showstoppers, but they're gonna ruin your scorecard. Make sure you play the simple shot, the shot that you know you can get right. It won't be as glamorous, but it won't destroy a scorecard either. If you have very specific issues, then you might want to spend a little bit of time on that. But his general advice is to not go too far down a rabbit hole, just get a lesson. And then from there, he actually thinks a lot of people can work on things from home without even hitting golf balls. Ultimately, in his mind, two hours a week is probably not enough time to maintain your game. But if you do want to see your scores come down as quickly as possible, then at least get smart about it. Focus on the things that are actually going to help you score better in golf. If you found this video interesting, some way helpful, love it if you consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you again in another video soon.